Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. This is Tom Oloshin, and I'm the host of, the, of our new show, um, The Master Cleanser Monday. And this is the day where we interview one of the master cleansers of the uh, online master cleanser group. And uh, this is a group that I guide, support, uh, tell stories to <laughs> of the participants in, the, in this group. And uh, everybody goes on the master cleanse for uh, 10 days and even longer. In fact, we've had several people do 20, 30, 40, 50 days in a row. In fact, this last group we did, we've done seven online groups. And Sherry here is, uh, Sherry Hester is one of the co or one of the original founding members of the, uh, of the first group we started in April. And uh, we've had two members who've done 100 days in total since the uh, group started. And so the purpose of this, of this uh, group here, or not, this meeting, <laughs> or uh, Facebook Live, is to talk to people who've joined the, the online group and talk to them about their experience and um, how they enjoyed it or didn't like it and uh, what they might uh, suggest for people who are watching. So, um, Sherry, first off, I'd like to know a little bit about how and when you first began the Master Cleanse yourself. So, go ahead. Sure thing. Okay, thank you, Tom, so much. So, um, I began the Master Cleanse actually a year ago, almost to the day. Oh. Um, I th yeah, it's interesting. Um, it was September 30th. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, how about that? That's the first time I did a master cleanse. And um, a friend of mine uh, in Young Living w had done a couple before, and I was in a group with her, and we were just chatting. And she said, I'm getting ready to do this master cleanse thing. I'm like, well, what is that? And she explained uh, what it was. And I thought, you know, why not? I'm always game for trying to do something to better my health, to, you know, make my body function at its best. So I thought this sounded great. Um, I was a little bit uh, concerned because I didn't consider myself a faster. Like I had never, I, I, I had never been able to go a day without eating. Like I had tried it. I didn't like it. I thought I couldn't do it. And so I went in with a little bit of fear and trepidation. But um but because, and I know that you're probably going to um, ask about this later, but because I was in a group, I, we did it at, as a group in a Marco Polo group. And um, if I had been doing it on my own, I don't think I would have continued because it was very, very challenging um, for me the first time. But that was my entry into it. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I, I would like to say that one of the best things that I learned in that first round was, um, and we're probably going to get into this later. I'm sorry if I'm jumping ahead. Let's ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Was um, I, I started getting a little cranky and, you know, wah, wah, wah. And I was hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. Yeah. And, and luckily this woman that I was doing it with, she had done it before. So we weren't all like, you know, novices. And she's like, uh-huh. Yeah. And she said, are you drinking your lemonade? I said, yeah. But okay, she said, I don't think you're hungry. I said, okay, maybe I'm not hungry, but I just, I, I really want to eat. And I'm just, I'm not used to not getting what I want. And I want to eat. And she, she said, she, the wisest words, she said, okay, Sherry, okay, that's interesting. Well, first of all, no one is stopping you. No one's tying your hands down. You know, if you want to eat, you can go eat. You can stop the cleanse. She said, but um, I thought you wanted to do the cleanse. I thought you wanted to cleanse your body. I thought that's what you wanted to do. And so that was the beginning of really going a little deeper uh, yes. and try and really say, oh, what do I want? Mm -hmm. And why am I doing this? Sure, you know, I want to eat, but that, you know, what I want more than anything is to clean out my insides and start fresh and do things better. And when I could keep that in my mind, in the forefront of my mind, that really, really helped every time I got a little cranky. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if I can ask then, you know, did you have any specific health conditions or problems that you wanted to address? Or this is, as you kind of mentioned, kind of a, 
uh, preventative or maintenance. Like don't wait until you get sick, until you go, oh, I need help. <laughs> just, you know, just get on it yes. now. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I didn't really have any major health issues, but I did feel like um, I wasn't, I wasn't eating the way I wanted to be eating. I'm, I'm vegan and I'm usually very aware of what I'm putting in my body and I felt like I'd gotten a little slack. Oh, okay. And I was starting to allow things in my body that were not making me feel good. I was not the weight I wanted. I just didn't feel at, I mean, I was fine, but I wasn't, I felt like I needed to start fresh. Oh, great. So it was okay. really a reboot. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, so, um, well, then, so what drew you to signing up into my particular group, the, the online master cleanse group? Well, I was just ecstatic mm -hmm. when I saw, I mean, I honestly, Tom, I don't remember how I stumbled upon you. Um, obviously, I knew of you. I had your book, yeah. right? Like I had been reading your book and I think I did, you said you started in April, right? The group started in April. April was the first of uh, the, this, we've done seven and the first one yeah, started April the 2nd of this year. Okay. So I had, I did three before I actually oh, yeah. got joined your group. Um, so, um, so I was very, very aware of who you were and I was reading your book like the Bible and all that stuff. And somehow, I don't know how, but you came across my Facebook page and I thought, oh my gosh, I have so many questions for this man. <laughs> you know, like I'm reading the book. I'm like, I wish I could ask him because I just, you know, and when I saw that, I was so excited. I thought, oh, to be able to speak with the master himself and to be able to, you know, actually engage and be able to ask you questions. I just, I was all in from the minute I saw that I was like, oh, I've got to do this. And I wasn't quite ready to do my next cleanse yet either. <laughs> I feel like I had just come off of one, but I'm like, mm. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, you know, you brought up, you know, what this other person said, you know, when she's you know, asked about what, what are your intentions? And that's one of the things I bring up uh, when people start the group. We do three days of preparation. We do preparation day one, two, three, and then go into the cleanse for 10 days. And so uh, did you, when you started, you know, in April with us, did you uh, have a set of goals, their intentions, what were, what was your, what was your goal at the time? And you probably had something in mind. Well, honestly, the goal, the huge goal remains the same is just to keep cleaning, okay. <laughs> to continue getting cleaner, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lifetime of, you know, some bad choices, you know, mostly good choices, but I, you know, we all, yeah. yeah. So I want to clean. Um, but I've got to tell you my most recent goals really since I've joined up with you because I've done three with you in, in the group okay. and um, uh, our t uh, my goal is to feel as good off of the cleanse as I feel when I'm on the, on cleanse. the cleanse. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel so good. And usually when I come back to the cleanse, it's because I'm just feeling let um, this last time I did it with you. I felt like I had something about to come on you know, that feeling. Mm -hmm. And so whenever there's, and then another time I started it, I was, get, I was feeling very achy. I had started walking more and my joints were achy. Okay. So each time there's kind of a little bit of a, I'm not feeling the best. Mm -hmm. I need to do the master cleanse because right. that okay. always reboots me. Right. The, your, the body gives you these little nudges, you know, and it is to pay attention. And I know that times when I've sometimes felt something and then, oh, I don't know if it's the opportune time to do the cleanse. And I, <laughs> when people, right. you know, which is uh, this word of, uh, of wisdom here is that people will say, is, is there ever a good time to be on the cleanse or a bad time? And I say, is there ever a good time to be sick? And they go, well, no. I said, well, then it's always a good time to do the cleanse because then the doing the cleanse prevents getting sick. It's at least that, well, that's what I believe and know from my experience. So in fact, once I had, I was, I had a cold coming on. This was many years ago. And, and I'd had people say, oh, I just drank a glass of lemonade. I had this cold, and it just stopped. And so I had a glass of lemonade and this, it just stopped in its tracks. It was just completely gone. It was amazing. <laughs> I've only done it the one time, <laughs> but you know, so that, you know, that when, when your body gives you these, you know, these sort of 
nudges this hey you know maybe it's time to cleanse or something it's generally a good time that's your intuition speaking it's like okay now's a very good time to do this so, and i want to just add too not only physically but i was just you just reminded me i forgot about this and i think i wrote it in one of your testimonials um the first time i joined you in april mm -hmm. i think i had signed up to join and then my mom passed away Oh. like days like it was right like around day one or something and for a minute or more than a minute you know i thought oh i i can't cleanse now i cannot cleanse. you know i want to be able to be free to eat whatever i want <laughs> you know i, I don't want to think you know i don't want to this i don't this isn't the right time and the more i thought about it i thought this is the perfect time it was the perfect time and i continued with the cleanse because one i didn't have to ever think about what am i going to eat it was right. one less thing on my on, literally on my plate like, yeah, right? yeah. one less thing off on my plate um and and it really kept me clear-headed because mm -hmm. i felt better and i would felt like i was more emotionally and physically equipped to deal with what i was doing so i just thought i would throw that out because uh -huh. Um, it was really important to me. I mean, I, and I was very close to not doing it because I thought it wasn't the right time. Well, interestingly enough, about the third cleanse along, third or fourth, one of the participants, her mother died about day five or six. And she continued on the cleanse as well. And she got, and the, the thing was that when this and all happened and there was, she got a lot of, of course, a support and outpouring from, the, mm. you know, the membership that, uh, that are doing the cleanse together. It's a, as you probably know, mm. it's, it's a real, it's, it's a family. It's a real family. You know, Community. Absolutely. You know, you know and, uh, you know, everybody kind of gets to know somebody somewhat. Some people are, you know, on the calls and talk and ask questions and some not so much. But it is it is a you know a, a community and that that support um, seems to really uh, as you know really ring true for a lot of people. And so many people said that this is it's made it so much easier. You know when I first started doing the cleanse myself back well the first time was 1979. You know, <laughs> my intention was to prove it wouldn't work, and of course I had this whole negative conception of what it was uh, and what it was going to do and of course it was completely opposite and then it was for me a, a very life-changing experience um and so you know you'd already done the cleanse a few times but being you know your first cleanse in the group how was your day-to-day -day experience was it you it was fabulous because um, uh, I just loved being part of your group because, um, well, it was much larger than my little group that I had originally had. <laughs> it was just like three women, you know, oh. the first time when I did my little group, right? Oh. But um, but um, you were there and it was, it was really wonderful to hear from you, like little things that I had just wondered about. It was, there was so much education and your stories were the best and they continue to be the best. And that's why I love it. Um, you know, just there's, you're just a wealth of information. And so when I, uh, when I came to the group, I just kind of sat back and listened and watched and took copious notes because that, that was very different for me. Um, and even having done the cleanse for three times, I, I heard things as if they were new. You were really just even little things as to how to, you know, how to pack it up for the day and um, <laughs> what you're like, you're allowed to eat the lemon, you know, the, the pulp. Okay. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> You know, just little things like that. It was fabulous. Yeah. It, and I, I went every day that first round. I went every day. I don't know that I was so successful going every 10 days, the other rounds, but, uh, but I watched the replays. Okay. Well, that was great then. Um, so you hadn't really, before this, done it on your own. It was, you'd always, you started with that small group. Okay. So right. I was going to ask right. about what was your, you know, how would you compare the two, but you can't really do that. Now I have done it. Well, no, I've been with you though. So that's mm. not on my own. No, that's true. No, you know what? I did do it once on my own, but the last one before you, I did it on my own for five days. And mm -hmm. then my son decided he wanted to do it with me. 
Mm -hmm. And that was the one time that I went longer than 10 days. I ended up going 17 days that time. Oh, great. I wanted to stick with him the entire time. Um, I think that's the math. I don't know if I did the math wrong, but anyway. um, But yeah, so, so there were, um, there were, that, that time I didn't have any group support. I just kind of did on my own. Yeah. But it's so much better with a group. Mm. So much better. Okay. So you've done then, what about 60, 70 days? Since I have. I have. I think 67 to be 67. exact. 67. Okay. Yes. Well, that's great in a year. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So have you, how is your uh, weight? Is it, you know, did you lose a bit of weight? Are you, are you stabilized now? Are you at your sort of goal where you want to be? Um, well, each time, as you know, like, so I started here and then the first time I went down and mm. then when I went off, I went up a That's little it. bit yeah. and then the next one. So then I'm starting here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the steps just kept going down, even though after the cleanse, I would rise yeah. a little bit. My, um, from the first time that I started, I've lost 20 pounds. Oh, so yeah. I've kept, I, I've kept, that's where That's-y. I am. Right. Um, that last cleanse that I just did. Um, I did get to like a weight I've never been at before. And like we all say, we're losing waste, right? We're not losing, Mm -hmm. well, it's not, and that was never my intention. I always accept that. I'm very happy and I accept it gladly when that (laughs) happens. But that really, that really was never the intention. Um, But it certainly, it certainly has been a nice perk. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, you know, I have to say also, you look, you look marvelous. You look, look beautiful. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. And I tell people that a lot of it is, you know, the cleanse and getting mm-hmm. stuff out and just being aware of what I put in my mouth. Right. I, one of my uh, clients, she was, uh, dropped me off at the, at the rent-a-car and I had to drive somewhere to, to do another, actually do a workshop. And uh, I was driving in, in the rent-a-car to, to this other area and she called me and she said i've had three people just randomly stop her like walking and just say and just say to her what do you do and she had just finished the uh, doing 10 days of the cleanse with me and you know she said she said i should just have she's i need to have a box of these in the car because people go like she said these weren't people i know just randomly people say like you look amazing like what and i and she did. She looks, you know, looked amazing. And she's one of these people who cleanses like, you know, every year on a regular basis, she's cleansing and stuff. And so it's, it's one of these things that you, which you're, you know, are sort of alluded to is that it becomes a part of your lifestyle. It's just, you know, you exercise on a regular basis. You, you mm-hmm. sleep daily, you, you know, you uh, cleanse on a regular basis. And mm-hmm. once, you know, once you start it, it, it becomes, uh, you know, just a part of your lifestyle. And when you don't do it, you actually start to miss it. And it's been really, you know, for me, great to be doing this because then I, I'm doing cleanses more often. I have, you know, remarried and have a couple of young children, a three-year-old and six-year-old. And then I we used, was traveling a lot and not, you know, having that much time to cleanse. And now here I am at home, like other people. <laughs> and hey, what better time to do to do something when you know you're stuck at home and and can't go anywhere? So, cleansing was you know an easy uh, thing to just to move into. So I'm really happy that I've got this group that I have to uh, uh, um, sort of show up for, <laughs> right, and, right, and, and and be responsible. So. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So do you, would you have any um, word of advice for anybody who would be considering joining this group, the Complete Master Cleanse Movement Group? Or I have various, I have all these different sort of titles and names. Sometimes I just call it the Master Cleanse Group or the Online Master Cleanser or the Complete Master. <laughs> so <laughs> people have to sort of Master bear Club. with me. Right. Yeah. Um, well, the first thing that I tell everyone is to do it. Right. <laughs> you just have to do it. Do it. Um, and we have quite a contingency down here in Savannah, Georgia, and all my oily community. It's a big thing. It's a big part of it. I think you've, you've got some of our oily, oily community watching you right now, actually. But, um, so, but the one thing that I, well, one thing I do say is, if at all possible, do it with someone else or do it with this group or at least do it with someone. Don't, I highly recommend that you don't try the first time on your own. 
right? Um, and the group, your group is the perfect way to enter into it. So that, that's the one thing is to try to do it with a group. And then the second thing is just to trust the process. Oh, uh, very good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> and because it's not always pretty. You know, there have been some times where I've had a really bad headache or I've really been tired or, oh, you know. Was that you that had the headache and you, you were... Yes, you did the Vitaflex on me. <laughs> I, I, because, you know, there's several people, but I, rem I remember that. And yeah, you were kind of... I was walking. Wa yeah, you were, uh, yes. <laughs> you were power walking and you I have a headache. And this, which is, you know, for people, for people who drink coffee, it's not unusual. But even if you don't I, drink I was, coffee... Yeah. You can, you know, you may still experience a headache and, and it can be that you're not drinking enough lemonade. It could be mm -hmm. that you stirred up a lot of toxins. It could be any number of things. And so what I do on the call, and this may be, sound very strange, is I do Vitaflex on the Zoom calls. And so I just look at the person and pretend to do Vitaflex on them. And they somewhat miraculously go, oh my God, I feel my pain is gone. And there's, there's been, if you haven't been on all of the calls, there's been some very dramatic and very, it's, 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 it's always exciting to, you know, mm -hmm. when, when people go, really? I, I, I wouldn't have believed it, but my pain <laughs> is gone. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened. You were doing the Vitaflex on at me and, and we were just talking and, you know, I'm just talking and then all of a sudden you go, so how's the pain? I went, oh, <laughs> it's I gone. completely forgot. It's gone. Yeah. And yeah. One of the reasons why I do that is when I've, I, this is, I've done it frequently or I'll be in a, been in a, in the grocery line and or at the cat, you know, the, the cashier paying for groceries and I'll say, what's wrong? And they'll go, Oh, I've got a headache. And I'll say, give me your hands. Give me your hand. And there's Vitaflex point here. And there's one in the elbow here and one on the elbow here. And I'll do those and do the other one. And then I'll, and then I'll say, give them money to pay. And they, they're distracted making change for me. And then I'll say, how's your headache? And they'll go, what did you just do? My headache. And, and the thing is, if I can have them distracted for a few seconds where they're not thinking about it, it'll just kind of right. disappear. But if they're, the idea is that if they sort of continually think about their headache and think about their headache and I'm doing it, it takes a little longer. But if they're just mm -hmm. distracted for a few seconds, it'll just kick in. And that was why I was talking to you. And remember, I mentioned how the 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 power lines made it look like yes! there was something coming yes! off your head. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. You've got a very good memory. Yes. Well, I, yeah, yes. I, yeah, I remember these that's things. Funny. Yeah. That's funny. That's so, funny. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and that's one of the, yeah. you know, the bonuses of, mm -hmm. uh, of being in the group, because if you've got, an, you know, an ache or a pain, I can just do it over the Zoom call. Um, Amazing. What, it, what it's done for me as well is that I have never practiced that much what's called fourth dimensional Vitaflex with my wife and and some people I know and stuff. Like I'd be traveling and my wife would say, I have my atlas is out. Can you do an atlas adjustment? And I would just, so I do an atlas adjustment on her once, yeah, I know she called and um, one of my children, that I was my only child at the time, she got stung by the, a bee on her thumb. And so I was doing some long distance Vitaflex for her and stuff, you know, so. But now that I can't travel and people can't travel to me, it's created this, you know, sort of the perfect storm where, well, then let's just do it, you know, fourth dimensional. We'll do it online, just like these calls. Like you're, did you say you're in North Carolina or South Carolina? Savannah, Georgia. Or Georgia. Oh, pardon me. Savannah, yeah. right, right. Oh, uh, right. Samantha, the woman who does the, the, the Euler, you know, podcast, she's in North Carolina, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're cool. Savannah, Georgia. Cool. And I have not, yeah. my, my, actually, my oldest daughter was in Savannah um, about a couple of years ago when the the hurricane came through and she was driving through the hurricane and she said trees were falling on oh, me. No. She went to a wedding. <laughs> oh and no. She was actually talking to me on the phone as she's driving through the hurricane to Savannah. <laughs> well tell her to come back when it's not a hurricane because yeah, it's a beautiful city. Yeah, I'd love to come there myself. I've probably oh, driven should. through uh, mm -hmm. many years ago, but uh, I didn't spend any time. So uh, the other question then would be, would you, which you've already kind of you know, mentioned, would you recommend people joining the group? And oh, I think you've already said that. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's part of what I talk about almost on a daily basis. When people ask me what I do mm -hmm. for my health or whatever, I, I'm always talking about the master cleanse. Mm -hmm. I just, and, I and the oils, of, of course, as well. Oh, of course. Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, um, I think I've pretty much got all of my questions answered here, and you've been a great, great. Uh, participant here. And, Thank uh, you, yeah. Tom. Thank you so much. It's been an honor. Thanks for asking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe again in the future we can do that as well. So um, we'll look forward to seeing you on, uh, I think you, you said you're going to start the next group, which is October the 14th. October the 14th. October the 14th. And that's October the 14th is the first preparation day. We have three preparation days, 10 days on the cleanse and three transition days. And so you've got 16 Zoom calls, which are typically about 19 minutes long, sometimes longer. Sometimes I get off a little early, but <laughs> usually they're going over the 19 minutes. And that's, of course, where I, you know, uh, educate people, uh, tell stories, do VitaFlex, let other people get in and, and talk or ask questions. So if you're interested, anybody who's listening to this, just go to thecompletemastercleanse.com and you can sign up there. And uh, we have the uh, yearly and we also have the one-time. And the uh, one-time group now is $98. And if you go for the whole year, it is... 296 and at this point we're doing um probably i'll be doing one online master cleanse support group every month we've done seven already and now december maybe i'll take the month off because most people don't want to do cleansing in december but i i've done cleansing myself generally about the first week in in uh, december but we've got a late I don't know, what are we doing? No, the no, November is, um, got a November 4th start date. And so if we do another one, it would have to be right after Thanksgiving, the, the American Thanksgiving, but I've got nothing set for that. But January, February, and March, we've got dates set up on the website for that as well. So you have lots of opportunities. You know, if you, you know, join, join up for the year, you will have uh, at least 11 opportunities to get in the group. And of course, uh, we have all of the Zoom calls recorded and you can go to the archives and see some of those where, you know, when I was working on Sherry, when she had her headache and she went, my headache's gone. <laughs> and you had quite a bad headache at the time. I think you said it was about an eight or a nine. It was really bad. It was bad. And I couldn't figure it out because I'd never had that before. And I, I'm not a coffee drinker. So it was yeah. weird. Yeah. Well, all we, you know, all that matters is that it's gone. We don't always understand how or why. It's just, it was here, it's gone, move on. <laughs> Again, thank you very much for uh, participating in this first uh, Master Cleanser Monday. And you are, are a Master Cleanser. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day and uh, hope to see you on the calls. Bye-bye. I'm going to... Um...